We've all seen the movies, but what is the real threat of an asteroid impact? Humans have a hard time thinking about large timescales, making it even harder to plan for distant or potential events. If you can back up and think on a timescale of the universe, we're a shooting gallery for asteroids. It's only a matter of when, not if, another one will hit Earth that could cause a mass extinction. Let's rewind time a bit, shall we? The Chicxulub crater was formed by a large asteroid or comet of about 11 to 81 kilometers in diameter. The date of the impact coincides precisely with the Cretaceous-Paleogene boundary, slightly less than 66 million years ago. A widely accepted theory is that worldwide climate disruption from the event caused 75% of plant and animal species on Earth to become extinct, including all non-avian dinosaurs. A far more recent impact that happened just over 100 years ago was the Tunguska event that occurred near the Podkamenea Tunguska River in Russia in 1908. Thankfully, the explosion happened over the sparsely populated eastern Siberian taiga, yet it still flattened an estimated 80 million trees over an area of 2,150 square kilometers. In more modern times, the Chelyabinsk meteor was a superbolide that entered Earth's atmosphere over Russia in 2013. It was a 20-meter, near-Earth asteroid with a speed of around 65,000 kilometers per hour that streaked a bright trail in the sky. The object was not detected before its atmospheric entry. Although there were no deaths, about 1,500 people were seriously injured by indirect effects such as broken glass from windows blown out from the shockwave. We may not escape so well in the future. So, what needs to be done? How can we prevent another event? The first step is finding the asteroid. We can find them mostly through telescopes by seeing an object that changes or streaks through a background of stars. This is the step you can help with. Once we've found them, we then need to track them. This is done by collecting and analyzing multiple images from telescopes over days, months and years to begin to understand the trajectory and orbit. We then need to categorize the asteroid. This is done by size, spin rate, material, and if the object is actually two objects, a binary pair. Okay, right, but how do we actually stop one if we see that it's on a collision course with Earth? Deflecting is a final step, and contrary to Hollywood, blowing it up with a nuke is not the best resort. The most feasible idea is to fly a spacecraft alongside the asteroid and let the gravity of it change the asteroid's orbit enough over time to avoid Earth. This is called a gravity tractor. A more direct approach of this would be by slamming a spacecraft right into the asteroid in a more aggressive attempt to knock it off course. For either of these methods, if you affect it early enough, the slightest nudge will make a huge change over time. Another method being researched is by using lasers. This technique involves many small spacecraft, each carrying a laser, swarming around a near-Earth asteroid. The spacecraft could precisely focus their powerful lasers onto a spot on the asteroid, vaporizing the rock and metal, and creating a jet plume of superheated gases and debris. The asteroid would become the fuel for its own rocket, and would slowly move into a new trajectory. Obviously, none of these methods has ever been fully used or tested, but some missions are being looked at right now to potentially test them out on benign asteroids. So, despite the reality of Earth likely being hit one day, the good news is that we've reached the technological point at which we can respond to this. After all, dinosaurs didn't have a space program. Now is the time to prepare and be ready. So, how can you help save the world from an asteroid impact? If you have a telescope, check out Asteroid Mission. If not, check out Hubble Asteroid Hunter. Like, follow, subscribe, and catch us next time to see how you, plus science, can help save the world.